What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. Today, I want to talk about the Dutch Shepherd. Before we dive in, don't forget to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also feel free to visit BattlebredK9s.com for updates and free downloadable content. So the Dutch Shepherd was originally bred in the early 1800s in the southern part of the Netherlands. Although the breed's origins are somewhat uncertain, most experts agree that they descended from the same herding dogs that also created the Belgian Shepherd and the German Shepherd. The largest population of Dutch Shepherds was found in Brabant, which bordered Belgium. The Dutch Shepherd's original purpose was a farm dog, but the dog also excelled in guard work, carting, herding, or police work. For a long time, the breed was pretty much unheard of outside of Holland, and the number of Dutch Shepherds declined over the years. When the first breed standard was written in 1898, the coat could be any color, but in 1914 it was decided to only allow Brindle to distinguish the breed from the similar German Shepherd and Belgian Shepherd. In the 1940s and 50s, the need for this breed declined because of modern farming. During World War II, all the breeding was stopped in the Netherlands. Many dogs died from starvation or were taken to Germany for use in the German military. This caused many of the Dutch Shepherd bloodlines to die out. The Dutch Breed Club later made attempts to resurrect the Dutch Shepherd and for a time added new blood to the gene pool by using the Malinois. The Dutch Shepherd is still a rare breed, but not for long considering the rise of breed enthusiasts across the world today. The United Kennel Club officially recognized the Dutch Shepherd in 1995. In 2012, the American Kennel Club allowed the Dutch Shepherd to begin being recorded in its foundation stock service. This is the first step toward the breed being officially recognized by the American Kennel Club. The Dutch Shepherd of today remains nearly the same dog it was more than 100 years ago. This well-muscled, medium-sized dog comes in several different colors including brindle, gray brindle, silver brindle, gold brindle, blue-gray, and salt and pepper. He has an intelligent expression and comes in three different coat types, short, long, and wire-haired. His coat should be close to the body with a beard and two well-defined eyebrows. They stand between 22 and 24 inches tall at the withers and weigh between 60 and 70 pounds. The Dutch Shepherd is a very competent dog. He can easily excel in agility, obedience, guard work, herding, catch work, and field trailing. With the popularity of this breed rising in the United States, it's also doing really well in confirmation events. The Dutch Shepherd is happiest when working and requires a good deal of mental and physical stimulation. He is friendly, playful, and full of energy. He is also cunning and can outsmart his owner when given the opportunity. He is great with children as long as he knows from an early age that children outrank him in the family pack. He will be loyal to his family, but even more so to his handler. He is definitely not the right dog for the inexperienced. So that about wraps it up for the Dutch Shepherd. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, be sure to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. I will see you guys next time. I love you all. God bless.